Good afternoon, everybody. Hopefully, you are having a blessed day. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hey, E. How you doing, lady? Hey, Shauna. Sending y'all lots of love. Hey, Shy. Give just another moment. This is going to be a collective reading. I'm so glad to hear that, E. I am so glad. You know I've been sending you a lot of positive vibes and prayers, love. Good afternoon, Nisi. Thank y'all for the likes. Thank y'all for the shares. Thank y'all for exchange of energy, right? <laughs> You're so welcome, love bug. You're so welcome. Hey. Who's that quasi? Hey there. All right. So this is going to be a collective reading. I want to come back to doing elements and signs, but until spirit gives it to me, I can't give it to y'all. And y'all know me. I don't fuss with spirit. I go with the grain. Okay. <laughs> Not against it. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. So let's get into this collective reading. It does feel like love to me. I'm going to be honest. I know sometimes I go, this could be love or family or career, but I don't know that I'm 100% feeling that this could be a career situation, but of course, as always, because it is collective, only take what resonates with you, what applies to your thoughts, your wish, your wishes, your actions, your prayers, the things that are taking place in your life. And of course, put the, um, the bits and pieces and the messages to the aspects of your life um, that you are questioning at this time. OK, so if it happens to fit for corporate, wonderful. If it happens to fit for love, wonderful. Um, so I'm going to start with my intuitive messages. As y'all know, I'm an overall intuitive reader, and I'm going to give you what spirit gave me before we get into the cards. The, I don't know if you know who Mally, I think his name is Mally Music. He has a song called I Will. Um, the song basically, I'm not going to sing it, but the song basically talks about, you know, him being happy for this woman that he didn't marry, that he didn't commit to, and that she looks beautiful in, in her wedding dress. And, and he wants to be able to walk away and, and to not say anything about the way he's always loved her. Um, and if he can, if he can walk away, he will. But it's, it's one of those things where like, I don't think that I can. I think even if you still shut me down. I have to say what I have to say. So I don't know what's really going on in this person's mind. Um, it's heavy on the you've closed the door and they know you have. They know that they've taken too long. They know that they've done too much. And it, like it's like I've done too much and not enough all at the same time. And I think they're just starting to really understand what that statement means. Like you did way too much and not enough all at the same fucking time for way too long. And I think this person is really, I feel like part of them is also disgusted with themselves. Even if they don't tell you, y'all know me, I'm going to get the raw truth. They're disgusted with how they acted. So next step in, in this whole storyline that I got when I was sitting here meditating is that this person is trying to put blame in certain aspects as they go through the history of. Um, somebody got pregnant that they didn't mean to get pregnant and that delayed time. Um, they ended up losing their job randomly in that delayed time. Um, their mom or somebody got sick and they had to go, go away for six to eight months, that delayed time. Like they keep finding these milestones and keep saying that that's what delayed time. But when the grand scheme of things, when they really lay down at night or whenever they have this moment of epiphany throughout the day, it's like, you know, I can't blame nobody but myself. Because I feel like during some of these moments, they were still either in communication with you or something to that effect to where you were still like, well, I hope everything works out with your mom. You know, I hope you get back on your feet. You know, like just positive, just positive messages like you weren't looking for this person to come back running into your arms, but yet you were still there for this person. Right. You still at least gave them positive vibes. Even if y'all were not in communication, I still feel like it was never like you wanted them to fall on hard times. Right. Some of us I ain't going to lie. We say some real nasty shit. <laughs> when you push us to the limit okay you push my you put my back to the wall I might say something because I feel like I'm being attacked but all in all I feel like deep in your heart you never want it bad for this person and you feel like this person like again put everything and everyone else ahead of you and so now yeah they look at these milestones and try to say that this or that delayed them but then they have to come back to the fact that they allowed that delay to happen right so as much as they want to blame other people, places, circumstances, situations, at the end of the day, as they start to unpack that story, they notice that it was still up to them to make the decision 
And each and every time they never made a decision to come back to you 100%. So again, it's still going off in my head. It's called Mally Music. I will. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. He even says in the song, God bless your marriage. You know what I mean? And if I could walk away, I will. But again, this person, <laughs> I got to be honest. I don't even know why that song, because the walk away happened a long time ago, I feel like. Even if you and this person have had interactions, it was never like the first time when y'all started this thing. They never fully came back, quote unquote, right? There was always bits and pieces of them sitting out there with other people. Third parties, friends, family members, there were pieces of them that they never brought back to you. And then I feel like part of y'all have called your energy back. So now you feel whole. And if this person were to show up whole, then we could probably try this again. But every time they came back, they came back with either more baggage or with strings attaching to other places and spaces, which limited how much time and effort and energy they could give you. So it's, it's just like it never got back up on its feet because they never came back 100% or they never came back healed or they never came back just giving you everything that you deserve. So I can't do nothing with even less than what you were giving me the first time. So maybe that epiphany is also coming through. They're noticing how much less they gave you every time they came back. All right, true jumpers only. These cards is ready to talk, Jesus. Okay, well, let's get into the cards then, spirit, excuse me. <laughs> So again, this is a collective reading. Only take what applies and resonates to your life, your actions, your wishes, and your prayers. Leave everything else for your cousins. Help each other out in the comments. Support one another in the comments, okay? <laughs> we don't do no negativity here either, all right? I love y'all to pieces, all right? Give me three cards for this overall message here today, spirit. Hey, y'all. Hey, everybody. Oh, shoot. That's funny. I've been shuffling these cards and shuffling these cards, and this keeps coming out. This is what y'all are not willing to let go of, the land of milk and honey. We're not starting back from scratch, not when I know I'm this close to the end of the rainbow, when I know that God is starting some momentum in my life. Like, like I said yesterday, it could even be small things like people keep giving you gift cards, you keep getting coupons, you keep getting discounts. You're like, oh, I'm, I'm saving some money. You're seeing this momentum in your life. Maybe you're on your second or third interview, something like that. You know what I mean? You're starting to see your clientele pick up a little bit. Maybe some of you who had writer's block and or some type of creative block, you're seeing your creative block kind of shifting. Some of you are getting more sleep. You're sleeping better at night. I don't know what that is. It happens to be um, hot tea at night, essential oils, hot baths, hot showers. Somebody's doing a weighted blanket these days or wants to do a weighted blanket, hoping that that's going to help them sleep better. But whatever it is, you see your life moving in the right direction and the energy that is in and surrounding you feels lighter or at least more focused, more intentional. I, I'll say that even if you are still stressed, it just feels like I'm making progress, right? My day is productive and whatever it is, it's leading me to this land of milk and honey that I know is sitting right over here for me. So whether it's a lover or not, whether it's a family member or not, y'all are not allowing anyone to stop the momentum for where you're going. One moment, let me turn the light on. Sorry, y'all. I also needed something to drink. <laughs> About to get... Uh, okay. I swear, Arizona green tea got to be the best damn thing. Woo, thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And does... Real quick, I know this is a sidebar. I'm having a squirrel moment. But do y'all remember the Arizona green tea and it had apple, like fresh apple juice in it? Maybe not, but I can't find it anywhere. If anybody knows what I'm talking about and it only came in a can, I only seen that one in a can and I can't find it anywhere. Anyways, back to this reading. You're not letting anybody get you off your path right now. You know that there's something really big waiting in the balance for you and you're just not willing. We're not doing that. Another card here. Clarify this reading further. Heavy on the spirit animals right now. Um, if you like to decorate your home with certain animals i'm big about my elephants i love elephants i love elephants 
Um, but there's something about spirit animals. So this could be a frog. This could be dragonflies. This can be butterflies. This can be um, cheetahs, panthers, um, swans. Something about your, your spirit animals are definitely going to be showing up. And this could be keychains, T-shirts, um, commercials, things like that. When you see your spirit animal showing up in places and spaces, just know that it's a confirmation that you're on the right track. And to be strong. There's something about being strong, okay, or embodying the energy of that particular spirit animal. So if you happen to see a dragonfly pop up in front of your car, in front of your face, go on Google and Google it. You know what I mean? The energy behind the dragonfly, right? Spiritual energy behind a dragonfly. I'm also getting ladybugs, crickets, and spiders. Okay. Come on now. Mm. Chop wood because y'all are doing the work. I'm also hearing cleaning up, tidying up. So maybe y'all did your spring cleaning or you feel like, oh, shit, I didn't do it. Still do it. Don't don't never not say, oh, I didn't do it on that one day. So I shouldn't know. Spirit is still looking for you to get the cracks and crevices clean. OK, <laughs> dust a little bit. And this could even be something about somebody's. Um, OK, I'm seeing a couple things. So stick with me. I'm seeing the face. I guess this is face. I don't use Facebook. So Facebook's friend list. I guess you can limit how much somebody's profile can be. So there's different settings there. Um, I'm also seeing contacts like inside of your actual cell phone, either blocking people or deleting old numbers. I'm seeing someone's email and deleting old email. I'm seeing old text messages and deleting old text. So this spring cleaning is not just your home, not just your soul, but there's something about no longer communicating or allowing yourself to go back to old email threads or text message threads. Because when you go back to reread it, it just heightens the situation. It just makes you emotional or it triggers you to ask yourself more questions when you've already solidified what this situation is or is not. Okay. I'm also hearing something about Cinderella. So male or female, if you feel like that Cinderella story is about to happen for you for the longest time, you were overlooked, you were the hardest working person, you know, in your family, at your job, on your team, whatever it is, even in love, you always gave a lot. It is time for, for you to put that, that slipper on or for my gentleman to put the ascot on. I don't know. <laughs> um, it's time for you to fit the bill of your ultimate partner as well. And I did get the soulmate card a few times before I was live. So hopefully that'll come back out, but we'll see. Let me get another card here, Spirit. Impossible for plain yellow pumpkin to become a golden carriage. Impossible. <laughs> I love that. I mean, it's such a feel-good movie. Shout out to Brandy and um, R.I.P. to Witty, okay? Um, truth be told, your, your heart is open to what is aligned with it. And whoever this person is, I'll, I'm hearing right now, stomp on the devil's head. Not that your ex person is the devil. Okay, you call your person what you want to call your person. I'm not, I'm not calling nobody no names. But there's something about the wise old owl, right? You're above that. You're above this putting on a false mask. You're above this sugar coating. You're above this um, walking on eggshell bullshit. You're above that. So you allow this person to keep the mask on because, hey, if that works for you, boo-boo, you do what you do, how you do it, because only you can do it in that falsehood, okay? But me, myself, personally, I'm going to grow from the wisdom and the lessons that I've already learned. And I'm going to keep my heart open and aligned with what's for me. So I just feel like y'all are not allowing anyone to, again, make you believe that love is not for you. But I want y'all to continue to stand on business, as everyone's saying these days. And allow that person to be as false as they want to be. You stay in your reality. Let them go ahead and play those reindeer games over there. Okay? <laughs> I'll make it up. Your treasure island is coming. Y'all got treasure island and milk and honey. It doesn't get any better. I mean, come on now. Y'all have done the work. It is time. It is time. Bottom of the deck is a message in the bottle. Well, message... Ain't that what he said on don't be a men menace to society while drinking your juice in the hood? Message. <laughs> okay. You are building something absolutely fabulous for your loved ones for years to come. These are the foundational decisions that you've made to cut these people out, to go towards your dreams, to apply for that job, to move to that new state. Whatever you've done in the last six to nine months, as far as changing yourself, your surroundings, or just 
reorganizing the plan for the future, these are, these are, this is the time right now that you are making the foundational decisions that's going to lead to this land of milk and honey. And maybe you've already got the approval on the home. Maybe you've already got something. If the message hasn't come, it's going to be here by June, July at the, at the latest. Some of you, it's going to be August just because of the time frame that they picked the candidate. So if you've been, if you filled out something for a grant and they told you, oh, we're going to let all the candidates know in, in, in August, go with that. But I'm feeling like by June or July, a lot of my collective are already going to at least have a confirmation that the next step is moving forward. Someone's getting published. Congratulations. Someone's going to have some type of concert or uh, a concert or a summit or... I don't know. I don't know if you're performing. Some of y'all are performing. Some of y'all are speaking to a crowd. So maybe someone's a motivational speaker or maybe you're just going to be on a panel of a bunch of prestigious people in your industry. Um, this could be I'm seeing prestigious gentlemen, but I'm also seeing prestigious women. But then I'm also seeing a, a variety of like, again, different. Is somebody going to the hair show? Is this the hair shows? And OK, we're going down a rabbit hole. Sorry, guys. I just wanted to give some more insight to what spirit was showing me. But whatever this is, by June or July, you're going to get that message. Again, if they've already told you that they're not going to get back to anyone until August, August is the latest date that I have, then go with August. But outside of that, June or July, this next big message, confirmation, approval, it's coming for you. So be on the lookout. All right, let's see what else the cards have for us today. Yeah, a fresh start. Listen, it's 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 giving divine timing. It's giving everything that I gave it. It's giving me back with much more abundance. So you get what I'm saying? This year, this is the year of eight. So what you put out will come back to you as well. There's something about your prayer sessions and or meditation sessions. Make them more intentional. Um, I mean, we all have that that prayer that we've been saying since we were a child, right? Even when you pray over your food, God is great, God is good. Let us thank Him for our food. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, Miss Nobody, I love you. <laughs> um, but there's something about just speak from your heart, and especially those who don't know where to start, then say that, God, I don't know where to start with this prayer. I'm lost. I'm confused. I feel blocked. I need insight. I need clarity. Allow my angels to come down here and intercede on my behalf and shake me up so that I know what you're trying to say, God, because I feel like either you're not talking or I'm not getting it. In Jesus name, I thank you in advance for already answering me and giving me the next steps. Amen. And if it's not Jesus, then it's Buddha or it's Lakshmi or it's Muhammad or whoever you talk to. If Just talk. Just talk, babies. This is not about where art thou, God. You know, like, no, we don't have to do all that. All right. We're not, you know, we don't have to do all that. God knows your heart. God see everything you do every single day. Trust and believe. You can talk to God like you wanted the homies. Because listen, me and God here with it. Okay. I need you to sit down at this bar. Somebody pour, pour Jesus a double shot of that wine that he had in the back. You get what I'm saying? Like me, me and my guides, we get it in. Because it's, it's, it's a personal thing with me. And they, God made me the way God made me for a reason. The personality I have, God made it. So if I happen to have a slip of the tongue, excuse me, God, my apologies. But let's get back to it, right? So just letting y'all know, just talk to God. You don't have to come formal and you're all white, ready to be baptized every time you talk to God. Or your spirit team, I, even my spirit team. We talk like that's the homies, okay? What's milk and honey? Let me have one card. Y'all are at the finish line. Four, 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 three, 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 one, two, three, four. Some of y'all are seeing um, triples on like VVV, WWW, XXX, AAA, um, along with the synchronicities in the numbers and the angel numbers as well. Y'all have reached this finish line. I said this yesterday. There are no more tests or trials. It's just action. Just go get it. Um, that's a Mary Mary song. Go get your blessing. That song keeps popping up. I don't know that. I don't think I know that song. But Go Get Your Blessing by Mary Mary is going off right now because there's no more test or trials, my loves. The only test is for you to go out there and make it happen. 
Go make it happen. What's chop wood? Oh, goodness. I'm sorry. I just got to show that at the bottom of the deck as a community. Yes, your family, friends, and loved ones are going to be celebrating with you. They've seen you go through some very dark, depressive times. Some of y'all kind of closed yourself off to a lot of your friends um, as well. Or you told them very minimal of what has happened to you over the last year to year and a half. It's like you kind of grazed the surface. But a lot of y'all have been through some very, very dark times by yourself. And I'm hearing during these moments, you were sh you showed God another level of endurance because you fought back and if you fought back for your mental health and your physical health so this would definitely be those who were like mentally felt trapped or like you were just so sluggish and you just felt maybe your body didn't feel right over the last year and a half you're winning my love you are winning which chop wood there is someone who has um john b don't listen to what people say they don't know about, about you. Listen, uh, we're going to get there. We're going to, I just need that person's energy to move. Because <laughs> I don't have time for this whining ass shit. You did it to yourself. Let's get back to chop wood. I ain't got time for that. <laughs> if I got energy at the end, we'll figure out what the whole John B. Please, baby, please is about. But right now we're focused on y'all and what's coming in for y'all. I'm getting tattoos. Who wants to get a, a tattoo? Either it's a tattoo of protection, like a cross, um, a ohm, something like that, or it's a, a tribute to someone. That's what I'm feeling. If it's not a tribute to someone, then it, it's like maybe you're a skater, so you want to get a skater something written on you or something like that. But it happens to be like a cross, an eagle, something of protection, I guess. Maybe even your spirit animal. Somebody wants to get a panther or something like that. Chop wood. Tribal signs. Somebody wants to get tribal signs as well. I'm telling... Did, didn't I say this? Y'all been doing the work and it's time for your soulmate. It's time for the finish line. It's time for the milk and... It is... Y'all have free will to do as you please. And auntie, when I say what I say, it's because it's how I feel. Because it's how I'm getting it from spirit, from God, from universe. This is not a time to go backwards. This is not a time to try to give someone one more chance to fix because it's going to put you in a cycle. I'm just letting you know this solar eclipse is on the way. I'm just letting y'all know it does not feel like someone from the past is now coming back with this renewed energy. Or I would say that very few. This is all about all the hard work that you put into yourself. And it's time for you to receive everything that's your vibrational match, not just the soulmate, not just love. This is everything, every the entire will of life is now trying to align with what you deserve. Do not interrupt it by bringing low vibrational leeches back into your life. Look at the bigger picture beyond these small little granular details that people trying to bring you down a rabbit hole. And we're not rehashing. That's how I keep hearing that. Don't keep rehashing conversations with people because then that, that just triggers you emotionally to kind of, and they latch back on. And now y'all got that cord you got, you got to burn again. You get what I'm saying? You've done the shadow work. And that's why you're creating a new, a new beginning, a fresh start, or you're, or you're tweaking the plan a little bit, right? Y'all have done this work. There's, there's a bigger picture even beyond what y'all have seen. And some of y'all, maybe your person comes along again in the future. But many of y'all, I just got to be honest, God is testing you to see. God is just testing. Truth be told. And again, it's not a test of... Are you going to do more work? It's a test of, are you going to choose yourself? Are you going to choose your happiness? Are you going to stop putting everyone else's problems and issues on your back? Are you going to stay 10 toes down with your healthy boundaries? Just saying, truth be told. Go further into truth be told. Indulge. Something's telling me like, um, enjoy the fruits of your labor, but within means. And I've been talking about that a lot here lately. Like me, I love some good sushi and some good hibachi. Yes. Run that bill up to $120. If that's what I wanted to do after you add the drinks. But sometimes I just need to go on by, pick, pick up a little to go order, stop by the liquor store <laughs> and take my ass on home. So there's something about, you know, making sure that you do enjoy the fruits of your labor. Don't allow yourself to not celebrate your wins. Okay. 
<laughs> and find an order oracle apparently there goes that body work um again this could be working out but i'm feeling more like drawn to the tattoos somebody possibly wants to do some tattoos and it could be from like i said something spiritually back that this tattoo is about we also have seek guidance again let me get one more here truth be told Or some of you having, um, like, okay, well, I'll say this. My third eye, the middle of my forehead, if you've been having headaches, but it's only in the middle of your forehead. You've been having headaches, but it's only at the top of your head. Your, your chakra points. Some of y'all have been feeling niggling in your solar plexus, which is right there at your tummy, in your belly button. That's your, that's your chakra energy points moving and adjusting, okay? I do want to, I want to give y'all that too. One more here for truth be told. Oh, maybe that's all spirit has to say. One more here. Thank you. Solitude and the grind. So again, you put in the work. I feel like it's time for you to indulge, to enjoy the fruits of your labor. And some of y'all may want to pay for a reading or you want to do Reiki healing or you want to go to a spa where they do, I don't like the color therapy or something. I keep seeing the colors, the different chakra colors with the lamp that goes over your body. So maybe some of you want to get into that. So this may be a confirmation for you all who are looking to possibly do something a little bit deeper when it comes to your spiritual journey. And that could be, like I said, putting a sigil on your body, or it could be you going to get henna, anything like that. Yeah, it's time to explore. Take, take that chance. Go sit with that oracle. Go take that, that, or I don't know, that tarot class, whatever that is. Go buy the crystals. Go get you a singing bowl. Y'all know how I feel. I love me a good singing bowl now, baby. I always try to keep a couple crystals in mind. Go get a singing bowl, Okay. Mm, ain't nothing like it. I'm just saying. Mm, 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 gotta take that to the beach next time. All right, let's keep going. What's Treasure Island, Spirit? Clarify Treasure Island. Stuck energy. Why is that there, Spirit? Sneaky, sneak. Because cause you're moving in silence. You're not. We talked about this sneaky, sneaky yesterday. You're moving in silence. I don't feel like anyone has you stuck. I feel like people might think you're stuck. Let's talk about it. People might think you're stuck because you're not putting nothing on, on Facebook or Instagram. People think that you um, you ain't got nothing going on because you're not posting nothing. You ain't supposed to be in my business. You're not supposed to know what's going on with me. You, I don't need to post every morning I had eggs and then in the afternoon I had a chicken sandwich and then tonight I made meatloaf. Like People want to know too much of your life. And you just as rested, taking hot baths, eating good drinking wine laughing at your favorite sitcom got your heels all kicked up you ain't worried about these people like i said i don't think y'all believe y'all are stuck you just want to know what the next step is but i keep hearing shh and someone keeps putting their fingers over my lips don't tell nobody mm -mm. wait till they see your name in lights and then they walking up on you asking you for an autograph boop <laughs> Mm -mm. You don't let people know your every step, every move. Mm -mm. Keep going further, though. Listen. That inner strength that y'all had, this came out again. That inner strength, y'all have a deep knowing that there is something. And again, with the butterfly, like I said, y'all spirit animals are going to start showing up just to give y'all a confirmation that you're on the right path. You're building a home, you're building a life, you're building foundation, you're building something for yourself. And that's why, that's where you're at, in your bag. You don't need no, you don't need no paparazzi knowing what you're doing, left, right, center. Mm -mm. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. And I do feel like in the moments that you think you are stuck or you're second guessing yourself, it's like, okay, let me go do something to shift the energy. So maybe you go do the dishes, let me go vacuum, let me just get myself out of my own head. I keep hearing that. You'll go do something to busy yourself in a productive way, okay? And there it is again. Because y'all ain't got nothing to worry about, babies. Y'all ain't got nothing to worry about. Not a thing. I don't even think I'll be here too much longer. Let me get something from the angels. And then I'm going to get a spirit message. And we're going to close this. Because this is not about anyone else but y'all. Y'all know how they say on the plane, make sure you put your mask on before anybody else. Well, baby, make sure your shit is secured. Make sure you got your millions. Make sure you got your estate. Make sure you got everything you need before you start pouring 
your time, money, energy, love into others. Y'all are building something so huge for yourself and your family. This is not just about you and your soulmate. You're building a foundation to pass down to loved ones. Because I can't let it go. I always like to just double check. I'm going to give you this. If you do have a child or you, you like to have relations with someone, just make sure that you are protecting yourself. Someone can think that a baby means that you got to stay with them. Or a business, you got to stay with them. Or a house, you got to stay with them. Something like that. But outside of that, that's the only thing I'm really feeling. All right. This also is coming back to me, um, solar plexus energy. So make sure that you know, you're know you confident in what you're doing, right? Confident in what you're saying. Confident in the fact that holding back this information is good for me. Because I think sometimes, um, you know, we all get that way. We want people to be happy for us and to support us and to be cheerleaders for us. But I just got to be honest, everyone's not going to be happy that you're bossing up and having healthy boundaries. That's just That just goes with the territory. All right, let me get three cards. What angel therapy messages do you have for your, your babies? Books. Your life purpose involves writing, reading, editing, or selling spiritually based books. This to me is coming back to taking that next level of learning, right? Um, if anyone is curious about like some good books to start with when it comes to crystals or tarot or just going on this spiritual journey, learning about angels, um, figuring out who your actual uh, deities, angel guides are. Send me an email. I have some free information I can send over to you. Some of you who have writer's block or creative blocks, that could be. And again, I don't feel like this is like could be a full book. Some of you may just want to do like journals. Journals, something about um, savings. Is it? I don't, I don't know what savings would be. I just heard savings. So maybe somebody wants to put a book together about how to save, how to budget, a budget book. All right, go further. Thank you, spirit. Emotional sensitivity. Honor and respect your deep sensitivity as, as it is a gift to us all. So y'all are empaths. You feel the energy and you also can, um, I'm hearing, read through the bullshit. So let people play themselves. That's what I just was told. You can read through the bullshit, so let people play themselves. Y'all keep yourselves in that rested. This kind of feels like the same energy to me. Stay in that rested, peaceful energy. Don't let nobody shift you around because you, you're emotionally intelligent enough to know when somebody's BSing you. So let them play themselves. Whoever that person is, twin flame, the answer to your question involves a spiritually based romantic relationship. Give me one more. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Like I said, y'all, whoever your, your animal, your spirit animal, whatever animal you resonate with is trying to get through to you. Your, uh, your animal spirit guide is a guardian to you and is helping you with this situation. So like I said, if you love ladybugs and they're showing up, you love butterflies, they're showing up or whatever this may be. Like I said, I love mermaids. You ain't gonna see no mermaid walking down the street, but I mean, mermaids will show up on, on people's, um, on the back of their car like their decals they'll show them people on little girls t-shirts that's how i know that yamaya is trying to get, get through to me fortuna is trying to get through to me those are my deities okay and i also have singing and dancing express yourself and awaken your psychic senses through the magical power of music and movement um yesterday we had a whole lot of music that came through primarily um like a lot of that 90s r b and gospel praise and worship Okay, I even got Hezekiah Walker this morning as soon as I woke up. That was the first song that came in. So if you feel better once you praise, you dance, you sing around the house, turn the volume up. Let that vibration heal you. I know it may seem funny, but let's really think about it. If you turned on to some of that old music, as soon as you hear that beat drop, doom, 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 and you'd be like, oh, that's my jam. And it takes you somewhere. Right. It could be it could take you to that old barbecue when you were 13 years old or it can take you back to, you know, the good times that you had with your friends in college. Like, let the music take you. Now, this twin flame, I need to get something there. 
My lord. I just they just can't I can't leave you alone. <sighs> this person just can't leave you alone. I'm also feeling like somebody is holding me around my backside. So if this person likes to hold you at night, like right around that lower, right above the butt, right in that, that, mm-hmm, mm, get off of me, please and thank you. Come get your person. Getting a little touchy-feely. I don't like it. <laughs> don't like it. Go into this twin flame. What are you saying here, spirit? What's the message behind it? Love by Music So Child. So many people use your name in vain. <sighs> surprise, surprise, surprise. I think this person, your twin flame, would be surprised that you do still love them. But I don't know that you're technically in love at this time. I think there's more of a disgust with how they've handled your heart. I'm seeing this fisher's net. It was almost like once they caught the fish, once they got the big fish, it was like they mounted you on a wall as like, I don't know, I guess a prize more than loving you and taking care of you and things of that nature. Priest. So this person is getting readings. I talked about this recently. Um, if they're not getting readings personally, they're going on YouTube. Um, they're researching. They're trying to figure out what this twin flame soulmate thing is. Um, some of them have a belief that no matter what, you have to come back. I do not believe that at all. You are always going to match up with your vibrational match. And if your twin flame is not a vibrational match, well, that's why you get a soulmate. <laughs> this person is their own worst enemy. They are in a prison of their own mental entrapment at this time. Um, I don't know if this person is renting a room or they had to reduce. Maybe they used to be in a house. Now they're in an apartment. Maybe they used to be in an apartment. Now they're just renting a room. Something about that is also triggering to me at this time. But they're their own worst enemy. And they're sad about it. Sigh at the bottom of the deck. So your twin flame is here. Yeah, whenever I get the merchant card on top of, uh, where was he at? The priest. They definitely had a, someone give them a reading. It could be someone who's a friend. Maybe this person knows you're going to get married in the future and they want to try to impose on that as well. And if it's not that, and you know, if you know that your person's married, they're not happy in that marriage. They're not. And the person that they married, they could have gotten married to because they had a baby. And this could have been a friend, that they, uh, a close friend, fam, uh, I hope it's not a family member, a, ho a close friend or co-worker who they had a one night stand with. I'm getting that scenario and had a baby. And so it just kind of deaded this situation. All right. That's enough of that. <laughs> Let me get something from spirit when it comes to where y'all are going. Maybe y'all just needed to know whether or not it was time for you to reunite. Um, oh, my goodness. <laughs> y'all get what? reunite with your twin flame i don't know why for whatever reason my tongue would not move <laughs> i don't feel like again y'all know i'm one to clarify i still don't think that that person is in the energy for you and or they can't because they had a shotgun wedding to go be with someone else and they're sad about it and i know you're like some of y'all are like my person would never get a, a reading okay but you're here and you watch YouTube and you're tuned in and you get readings, you think this person doesn't, okay, but I'm letting you know they tap in. I'm just letting y'all know. Let me get one card in the bottom of the deck. Clarify. Oh, one more. Okay, I feel it. All right. I feel it, Spirit. It's all right. Calm down. Calm down, Selecta. Okay. Give me one more. There it is. Thank you, Spirit. All right. First one out. We talked about this. Find ways to fill your cup. Be self-full. Follow your heart and always trust your intuition. Go deep within. Find your triggers and address them one by one. Self-healing is the best healing. Only then can you offer the best version of yourself. Come on. Like I said, y'all have already been in solitude. And y'all know the, the shadow work was out here at one point. Y'all have already done it. Just telling you. Just saying. Just confirming. It's time to hit res the reset button. 
Clear out the old so that room is available for the new to enter. Trust that better things are coming fast. Prepare to move to the next phase of your life. This is your rebirth. Welcome this beautiful brand new energy. You've got this. And at the bottom of the deck is learn to ride the waves of life. When faced with difficult times, you can either fight against the current or go with it. So ask yourself, what is to be gained by depleting your energy and fighting against it? Don't do that to yourself. This is those healthy boundaries. This is that no longer sugarcoating. This is not being moved by anybody anywhere unless you want to move at that time and towards that thing. We're not doing that. We're not allowing other people to sh shift our energy, right? Every day needs to be a good day. Every day needs to be a smiling, joyful day. And if someone else is imposing on that, well, it's time for you to, what I say before, stand on the devil's neck. The wise old owl does not allow anyone to get them outside themselves because what would be the point of that, Right? I got to stay high vibrational for the blessings that are coming in my life. I can't let nobody get me off my one, too. Even when it comes to being in traffic, let me move out the way and let you crazies go ahead and, and race down the highway doing 150. That's fine. I'm going to go ahead and, and play, this, play it safe. You get what I'm saying? So there's something about that. All right. Let me clean up these cards here. Um, I'm going to try to I'm gonna pull one more, one more card for y'all. Um, which is going to be spirit animal because I just was told to pull the spirit animal. So I'm going to keep these initial energies down here. Let me get my spirit animal cards. I'm going to pull three and then I'm up out of here, y'all. All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Mm -mm. With a memory that can't be erased, although we need each other. That's Monica. Things have changed, right? It's not the same. Yeah, okay. Sometimes it makes me... I know y'all was singing it over there. <laughs> Where would I be? Sorry, y'all. I got small hands. These are big cards. So bear with me. I'm going to get three spirit animal messages because maybe some of y'all have not tapped into who your spirit animal would be or what spirit animal energy you should be tapping into. So let me get three cards here, spirit. Again, bear with me, y'all. It's a huge deck. I got tiny hands. <laughs> The first one we have, oh, hey, Ronnie, <laughs> is Puffin, partnership. Accept yourself and your colorful personality. Feel confident about being you. You are a joy bringer. Let your community nourish and protect you. Ask for help. Teamwork will give you the best results. So you, I do believe partner, like we had the soulmate, partnership is coming along, but you also have, I'm hearing life partners, soul family who have helped you, those who are willing to get into the, the muck with you, a.k.a. break down that door when you decide you're going to lock all the doors and stay inside and be depressed. That person is that person knocking on the door saying, uh-uh, I brought you some food, open the door, I, I came to take care of you. So if you have life partners, allow them in to this joyous time. Let them also celebrate your wins as well, I'm hearing. All right, next card is the Heron. Patience. <laughs> we, hey, hey. Tune in, all right? Create a plan in nature's stillness and be renewed. Take time alone to find balance. Step confidently towards your purchase, purpose. Sorry, Patience will bring you rewards. It's a beautiful bird, by the way. And if you can also see the sun is rising in the, in, in the back of, these car, of, of this card here. Oh, come on. I love, this is my favorite card of this deck outside of the butterfly because you know we always going to be the butterfly. But the unicorn, infinite possibilities. You are the sovereign of the seen and unseen worlds. The magic of love surrounds you. Beauty transforms you. Listen to the spirit of light. Abandon the darkness. Go beyond the ordinary and become the legendary. It is your time, babies. 
and at the bottom of the deck is the black bear guardian gentle and wise protector give me your confidence and power help me protect the ones i love awaken my intuition and guide me someone needs to take a screenshot of that that's your affirmation every time it seems hard and know that you're doing it for your, I just got to chill down my right side. Know that you're doing it for your cubs. And even if those cubs did not come out of your womb or my fellas out of your sack, you know, you love your nieces, nephews, your little cousins. You are that guardian. Okay. And if you need to, you call on your guardians to give you what you need. Cousins, you are that guardian. Okay. And if you need to, you call on your guardians to give you what you need. All right, my loves. This was a blessed message. I am very proud of y'all. Y'all need to go celebrate, whether that's a McDouble or y'all going and get a private chef with on the private jet, whatever in between that fits for you. I want y'all to go celebrate yourself. I want you to go out and, and enjoy this new life to come. Put in the applications, link up with your friends, celebrate one another, send somebody a text and just let them know that you're proud of them, right? There's something about revving each other up to keep staying on the path okay so let your loved ones know that you have their back and i'm talking about those a1 day ones those who have been getting into the thick of it with you to help you grow just let them know that you love them for being being there right and vice versa i feel like there's so much more for them to give back to you i hope that this message gave y'all what y'all needed y'all know to go ahead and follow me over to youtube the healing butterfly the link is in my bio um, so make sure you follow me over there. This reading and all of my other readings from TikTok will be listed there. They're all timeless. So make sure you tune in. Y'all know how I do. Sending y'all peace, prosperity, protection, and paradise vibes. And until we connect again, take care of yourself and your soul. All right? Namaste. You're so welcome. God bless each and every one of y'all. May breakthroughs and blessings show up at your doorstep today and every day forward. Namaste. Take care.